Hello and welcome back um, to another screencast. This one I am putting on this channel instead of my gaming channel because this channel has um, no limit. So, and this video will be over 15 minutes because um, this is behind the scenes of the Minecraft How To Guy, which is my gaming channel. Link is in the description. So, I'm basically just going to be showing you how I would edit my videos. Um, because now I've changed the software now used to edit my gaming videos. I have to use Camcha um, Camtasia for um, editing my technology videos. But now I have moved on to Adobe Premiere Pro. So what I'll do is um, I just launch up Adobe Premiere Pro. This is CS4. Um, I'm not going to upgrade CS5 because it does the job quite nicely. I'm going to be taking you through every step I do, so I'm not going to edit any bits out whatsoever. This is all going to be... Um, as I would do it so you can get the full experience of what I do to edit my videos so there will be no clock wipe skipping things or whatever so what I would do um, the first time I ever did this I would create a new project but then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this the project I created before as a template so here is the episode 9 of um, the Half-Life 2 playthrough I did so if I was to click on that there and load the project sorry about the um, black bars on the left and right hand side because it's um, I can't change the screen I can change the screen resolution 720p HD but on this screen it looks really weird and really like fuzzy and everything so I can't do that but because um, it's a square screen but um, so here if I was just to zoom out of this you can see I have scroll that along I can actually go in a bit further and about like that so this is the videos I had this is the um, let's play Half-Life 2 I did There's the little preview window here. So what I'd actually do now is um, because this has got all the the sequence, the titles, and the videos imported, what I would do um, if I wanted to create to edit a new episode now, which is what I'm going to do, I'm going to edit episode 10. Um, I would basically go to File. Once once with this project open, I'll go to File, Save As. Then I'll go to my uh, Let's Play Half-Life 2 folder, then create a new folder called Ep10, and then change this to Ep10. So what I've done there basically is I've taken this file here, which is Episode 9, but renamed it or saved it as Episode 10, but in a different folder. So now what I can do is it keeps me these titles here already. So all I have to do is re-edit these titles. I want to just take these videos out. So this is what I'm going to do. Just simply um, clear that um, and clear that. Plus I would also clear this title over here. Now I can zoom in. This is two seconds here, so this is going to last for just under three seconds here. So basically, to get, um, if you wanted to first time project, basically you would go to right click this grey space, go to new item, and then title, and then it would come up. But because these two videos here is for the previous episode, we don't need those, so I can clear those out. And then what I would do is I would go to my videos folder. So what I'm doing now is I'm basically getting the episodes, um, 
the episodes I recorded from Fraps into Premiere Pro now. Now there is a media browser but I prefer doing it this way because it's quicker. So um, I didn't actually want to go to videos folder so if I go to this local disk because that's, uh, I haven't changed the way Fraps records it to because I, it's easier just to keep it as default. So if I go to Fraps and then Movies, here is all the recordings I have done of different games. As you can see, there's um, a couple of Safari browser games I did. There's a whole load of Minecraft ones. All these videos here with the Java W, that's Minecraft. So you can tell there's a whole load of Minecraft episodes on here. Some of them I still haven't deleted from the past, so it's not all on there. But here, um, I have an Atom Zombie Smasher. I, which I did. Um, that can be. Um, let me play that to see what the one that was. Yeah, I don't actually need that. So I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing now for so another episode of Atom Zombie Smasher because. I don't know, I don't think it's really a game worth doing a playthrough of on YouTube. It's a good game, it's just not worth it having a playthrough. So it's 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 a good game, it's just that I would get bored quite easily on it. So um these two are the ones I did in episode nine. So I can delete those. And the great thing about this is um because um there's a recycling bin. If I delete the wrong ones, I can just restore them back from the recycling bin. So if I delete these, I can still get them back. So here, well now what I would do is I have a whole load of video files here. And, um, I would look here to see th the same date. So these are all roughly, these here are all the roughly the same date, which tells, me that, which tells me they're roughly the same episode, especially the times as well. So I'm going to uh, just click on this one. And you can tell this is 720p HD already, and this is about seven minutes. So this one here is about four minutes again, 720p HD. So I'm going to predict that these two together are roughly around 10 minutes, which is what I keep my episodes to. So I'm going to predict these two are um, the episodes. So what I'm going to do is open this up in Windows Media Player. So I can tell that is the start of the episode because it said welcome back to another episode. So now if I go into this one here. And then go to the end of it, back here. Uh, as you can tell there, um, um, as I was being shot out, I shot at, I said uh, see you in the next episode. So I can tell that these two are the ones I need. So I would simply highlight them and then just drag them into here and then it should come up saying copy and I just let go. And bam, they are now imported into the project. But before I put them into this timeline down here, so everything down here is the timeline. Um, I have three video tracks but we don't need the three video tracks. Um, I'm not going to delete the tracks though in case I ever need the three video tracks and it says we're going to add another track that's just be there. It doesn't affect uh, the video at all. So you can see here there's little star or asterisk that's appeared. Basically means that means I've made changes and haven't saved it. So now would be a good time to save it so I don't have to re-import the videos. So if I go to file and save, there we are, that's now save. So I could what I would do now is I would double click this title f uh, here and then it comes up with the title screen basically um, so what I can do now is because this is already typed out this is why I did opened up episode 9 and saved it as episode 10 so this here would already be in the right position and the right colors all I'd have to do is change the words so all I need to do is change this blue bit here to the topic or the part of the game and then this to the right episode number. 
So um, if I if this wasn't here, I'll just simply click here and then start typing. And there's um, instead of using the font picker up here, I like to use the font thing down here because it gives a much bigger preview. Um, so these are the f some of the first fonts I saw, and it I thought they looked quite good, so I decided to use them. So um, this says uh, episode nine. So I need to change it to episode 10 simply by going to my text tool. And then you should see here, um, to edit it, you, this little grey box needs to come up as you mouse over it. So if I was to click inside that, I can now edit it and change it to episode 10. As you can see, it would put it down here as well. So since we're no longer on the root canal, what I'm actually going to do is is I am going to take note of what this font is so that is whatever that font was um, so what was that font it is no it's not it's um, is it that one that one, hang on. Um, so this is what I'd have to do as well. Is I'd have to go through and do. Right. So it's this one, Lifos Pro Light Gold 28. So what I'm actually going to do is delete that because um, when it rendered onto YouTube, it didn't quite. The when it got processed, it was quite jaggy. So I'm going to redo that because I think the scale was mucked up. So I'm going to type um, a speech mark and then do uh, capital W water hazard like that part one because that's part of the game I was on and then I'm just going to get it roughly in the center by eye roughly in the center and I'm just going to make it a bit bigger and holding down shift to keep the scale just make it slightly bigger so that needs to come over a bit assuming by using the arrow keys here I would say that roughly looks in the middle I would also use this here to see how it looks so that looks okay so now I can simply close this and then save it so if I was to close it now, I could just open it up and go back here. So, um, I just like to add different colours to my title. So I play Half Life 2, which is the game title is in white, the episode number is in red, and then um, the different fonts for the chapter of the game and also a different colour just to make them stand out and uh, look a bit more professional. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two videos here, so take the first one which is this one here and I'm simply going to click and drag down to here, now um, you can see here it puts two little lines which basically means uh, this is the audio track down here, so this is all the audio and then this is the video up here, so if I wanted to I could delete the audio and move it onto a different video but I'm mostly going to do that because then it wouldn't be a playthrough well it would be a playthrough but you just wouldn't be able to hear the right thing so if I was to quickly go to the end of this well in fact no let's go to the beginning of it and play see what we got so far Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of TC Playstation now um I don't know how loud that came up, but as you can see, it it went in fine, but then it just suddenly cut to the video. But I want a nice little transition here. So what I've got is I found a nice little transition. What I could do is simply type it in here, which is slide, and then it comes up with the different slides I have here. But I don't want to do that because for this video to so you can see where it is I am going to go to video transitions here and then I have loads and loads of different transitions 
uh, of folders. Inside each folder is a load more things. So there's different types of zooms, different types of wipes, all sorts of things. Here is a slide folder. And then I'm just going to use the effect called slide because it's the most basic slide that looks quite nice. So what I'm going to do is click and drag it, but it's, um, when this little kind of like no entry sign comes up, that means I can't put it there. So all I'll have to do is simply go along to in between the two video parts I want to do, and you can see it kind of makes it go negative or inverts the color. So if I to let go and drop that in, and then play it again. As you can see, the video slid in, which was a much, much better transition than the horrible, um, kind of just cut, basically. So everything I do is I just go to File, Save, and then what I'll do now is I'll scroll along. Now, because I'm zoomed in so much, it does take a little while to... Uh, more to scroll, but the reason why I zoom in so close is so I can f finally tune the length of time for the transitions or titles. But because I did the file open of episode 9 and just left the first title in already, it's got the same time. So that's that was kind of good. I could have done the same with the end, but um, I didn't want to do that in case sometimes you can put a video in and then it might overwrite that so it would have been deleted anyway so here it's just before we get to 7 minutes and 10 um, the video cuts out or part 1 cuts out um, now what I did is I didn't actually um, cut the video there. the way Fraps does is when it gets to a certain file size when it gets to 4 gig uh, once the uh, recording has gone to 4 gig, it will then start another file, so it doesn't take up like a whole hard drive. And also, because if the file size was too big, it would take forever to import. And also, it, the video would be quite. Um, after a while, the video would become the frame rate would drop because the video size would be getting too big for the program to handle. So it splits it up, but you don't notice the difference because the cut is ever so slightly you don't notice it basically um, only if you was to break down every frame you may be able to do it but I'm not sure so um, what I do now is just get the second part and drag it in next to it so if I was to play from here As you can see, it went across both videos, but you didn't notice a cut at all. I'll just play it again. So keep watching. As this goes, I'll put it here actually. As this goes here, this you can't see a cut at all in the video. Which is kind of nice. So all that's left for me to do now is what I would do is also I'll check the audio levels as well. Uh, but luckily, is I just make sure that they're not too loud. If they are too loud, then these would go um, above this line here and above zero. If you keep your sound as close to zero um, as you can, then you're going to get the best sound. If you drop it down to the minuses, it might be too quiet. Drop it into the plus, it'll become too loud and then it'll become distorted. So, um, with basically zero, it's kind of basically just the natural volume of it. Um, so, if I now go to save, and then you go all the way to the end, I can now get the title to here, and just drag it to the end. Um, I'm going to cut down that time to the duration of. Hmm, let's see. So 11.16 to 11.18, that's about two seconds. So if I was to quickly just uh, go to the end of the video now, it suddenly just cuts again. So we need to add another slide. Since over here it's already here, all I just do is just drag it in between. If I play it again now. Oops. 
it now slides in. But however, we have if if you may have noticed, I didn't do this in the episode nine just to see what it was like. Um but you can notice that the audio suddenly cuts out, so we need to fade out the audio as well. So what we simply do is I haven't actually faded out the audio before. So this will be something new to figure out. Um but I think I know what it is. Basically we go into audio transitions or audio effects. Pretty, pretty sure it would be video transitions. Experimental fade at the end there. Let's see if it makes a difference. Okay, see you later. Right, now you can tell that the video faded out and is not such a huge cut. So, this is also why you switch to Premiere Pro because it's so easy to find what you want because you've got the search feature because there's so many things you could have and you could also put custom ones in there as well you could actually make your own and put them in there as well just within Premiere Pro you could take one effect mix it with another effect and then save it as a file which is kinda cool so um, you can see here that both transitions are the same sort of length which is okay and then uh, this would fade in and it says until the next episode so basically all that's left now for me to do is just to double check the end bit again. And then what I might do as well is um, see if I can get a fade on this. Uh, special effect. I might not... I don't think I will be able to get a fade, but, um, no, anyway, so it doesn't necessarily matter about the fade anyway. Um, so what's left for me to do now is to just go back to the beginning, just double check the beginning again, I always triple check, or double check, um, just to make sure the video is perfect, so I don't have to re-upload it, because it does take... Um, in Camtasia before it took about 15 minutes to upload the video in 720p HD so it was still HD video it just took 20, 15 minutes to upload um, but now with Premiere Pro because it's got much more professional effects and transitions it now takes about an hour of video to upload because the, f the file size is probably about um, I'd say probably about four to seven times bigger than it was so, because in Camtasia the file size is probably about 60 to 100 meg bytes, um, but now in Premiere Pro it's about 442-ish. So, um, but I will sacrifice file size for quality. So, um, just double check this beginning bit. So it's about three second intro. Just before I go any further as well, I am going to zoom out because now I know the beginning and stuff is perfect. What I'm going to do, as you'll see in a minute, is I'm just going to get all of the videos in. Now you can see why I zoomed in, because now you can't really edit the transitions because they're too small. But I can play it and see all of the video, and you'll see why in a minute. So I'm not going to... Um, show too much of the episode. What I'm just basically going to do is just skip through now just to make sure the video recorded alright and I don't have to go back and re-record it or edit some um, frames. Yep, so that seems to record it all right. So now all I need to do is just go to save it again. 
and now what I do to export it is I go to file export media now this is also a very important step to make sure so I have the preview line here so I know these little triangles is where it's going to what part of the video it's going to save so I know that it was basically uh, it's going to go from the beginning to the end which is what I want so when you normally do it you would get um, you could see here the source of it is 720p HD but it's actually going to output 720 by 480 which is 480p uh, which is ridiculously low quality for games so what I'm going to do is Premiere Pro comes with a built-in YouTube preset but it's only available in a certain format which is H.264 which is MP4 format H.264 is just the encoder it uses because uh, Microsoft AVI is such a huge file size, I'm not even sure Microsoft use it anymore um, because it's so big so now you can see here it's still low quality so what we need to do is go to preset and we could go to 720p HD here but I'm going to go to YouTube widescreen HD and you can see here it's now changed to 720p HD at 24 frames per second which is nice but um, I am I'm not happy until I get at least 30 frames a second so what I would simply do is click on the video tab here and then just change the frame rate to 29.97 the reason why I don't go to the straight to 30 is because you're never going to get um, it to be an exact frame rate so if I do 29.97 it's, it's going to be um, as close to 30 as it could be so um, and that's actually what the default frame rate is for some of the file sizes and file formats anyway so now I just double check it so it's 720p HD 29 frames per second the audio is AAC 64 kilobits 44.1 kilohertz which is um, good enough quality basically you can see here estimated file size 490 meg so it's just under half a gig so um, as you can see all this fancy editing has up made the file size go huge but also the reason why as well is because each each uh, recording if I was to show you I have this is also a reason why I have two hard drives as well um, I have this hard drive here which I have all my games installed on and then this one here which I just have all my files on um, so I have if I go to fraps the movies you can see here each file size is roughly 4 gig which um, well that one isn't but most of them are about 4 gig or in the gigabyte section so Premiere Pro isn't going to be able to make it go down to that much anyway the reason why Camtasia can get it down so much is because it compresses it with Premiere Pro it doesn't so much um, compress it so much, it actually encodes it so there is a slight difference so here I've got export video, export audio yep 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 um, I was just about to click OK and then I noticed this output name if I would have just clicked go it would have just saved it straight into episode 9 which is not what we want because we made an episode 10 folder I go to episode 10 and then change this to encoded oops encoded ep10 make sure it's on mp4 yep and then go to save that's now changed into the ep10 folder everything seems to be okay and if I click on okay is exporting data just give it a minute it hasn't exported the video yet it wouldn't be that quick I actually thought this morning it was that quick but as you can see it's loading up Adobe Adobe media encoder which is what um, any of the Adobe products will use to uh, publish video basically or encode video so it uses some of the Photoshop plugins it uses some of the Premiere Pro plugins um, 
So once this is loaded up and it has imported this file here, I can now close this down here to speed up the encoding time. And the great thing about this is you don't have to just you don't have to just insert uh, video files. You can actually insert the format. So you see here, this picture here is the actual format that Premiere Pro saved in a top dot p whatever it was. So instead of it just being a video file, it can actually, which is quite a nice feature. So because it saves you having to uh, encode it twice. So it says waiting here. I'm just going to double check this is the right place. Yep. Yep, this is the right format. And then what I'll do is just click on start queue. And now you can see here, estimated time is going up. This, it took about an hour this morning to do episode 9, to encode episode 9. So it should take about an hour to do this. As you can see here, the time's going up quite rapidly. And it will go up little bit longer than normal because of what I got the recording but yeah it's been going for 21 seconds it's done some already um, now if I go into where it's saving it and then go to let's play Half-Life 2 episode 10 you can see here this is what we're going to get when it's finished but these two here are this one here is the audio track which is basically my voice and the game sounds and this one here is the actual video of the game so what the Premiere Pro does or encoder does is basically it puts them in two separate files and then once it's finished saving those two files it then puts them together into one video here um, the reason why it does that is because it saves probably about an hour or two of editing or saving time basically um, because it's much quicker to save one file and then the next rather than just putting them both together um, at the same time so that's quite a nice feature of doing it so this will automatically disappear because this will be put into here and then I always keep these because I'm going to need this to do episode 11 I don't need it, I can always use episode 9, it's just that this would come up, if I keep this, this would come up in my recent projects and I could just click it and then re-edit it. So it's the encoding time is about 1 hour and 15 minutes. Um, so this has been behind the scenes of the Minecraft R2 guy of how I edit videos um, for the gaming channel and how I'm going to do it from now on. Um, so what I actually do um, as well is for Minecraft series, which we're going to be doing again soon, like more custom maps, is basically I would go through, instead of just having the black background, I would actually have a screenshot from in Minecraft. So let's see if Minecraft's going to work. And I'm not sure if Camtasia will pick it up, but let's have a go. If not, then uh, we'll have to skip it. It might not slow up with the encoding going. Uh, but this is a high-end machine, which is why I got it basically because I built it. I didn't build it for games. I built it for video editing So um, it's not again. It's not Super 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 fast to do like huge films like Freddy Wong does um, Because he has like IMAX which are extremely powerful um, A lot more powerful than this anyway so and probably the computer you're using as well but um, I will at some point when I get enough money I will upgrade I will upgrade the processor to a faster one to a gaming processor so I will actually be able to play and record more games such as um, such as here Horde um, high-end games like that, um, Dragon Age 2, Bulletstorm, 
Um, Half-Life 2 doesn't need higher, neither does Atom Zombie Smasher or Minecraft or Hitman 2, which I will be doing. Um, it's just a one-off because there's just one level, uh, because it's the demo. Uh, League of Legends, again, doesn't need a high-end computer, but the performance could be better um, if I upgraded it. Bloodline Champions, again, so if I was to go and log into Minecraft to show you what I'm doing, and by the way, Beta 1.6 is coming next week. I Notch has tweeted it. Um, I don't think it's going to load that much. Um, it might do. Let's see. Connect. What I'd actually do is I would um, make the Minecraft uh, thing obviously a lot better and then I would find a suitable place to say out of this window even though I wouldn't necessarily take a picture there because the window would get in the way but then push F1 to hide the UI and then I would push F2 to take a screenshot so this is a saved screenshot and then I would basically use that screenshot to uh, and then put that screenshot into Premiere Pro and then put the title over the top So I'd get that, so which is why I need to make the Minecraft bigger so that the the picture doesn't get blown up and then all pixelated. So I'm gonna leave this to encode. Um this is, has been the behind the scenes of the Minecraft R2 guy. Um I hope this has given you some um basically knowledge on how uh, I edit the gaming videos now in Premiere Pro. Hope this has uh, teached you some stuff in Premiere Pro as well about titles, stuff like that. So, um, until the next episode, see you later. I will not end with my YOLO computers ending because I am doing this for the Minecraft How 2 guy. So, until the next episode, see you later.